All right, so this is a uh, model um, diorama of the Ross Island Bridge uh, featuring a concept for a kind of high line, a uh, pedestrian and bicycle through affair. So you can get from over here on the right side of the frame from the uh, tram uh, easily down onto Moody and then also all the way out to the uh, waterfront without having to bother with uh, me, the typical riffraff of the city streets. And in addition to having a nice bit of green space uh, down uh, below with separate bicycle uh, walkway paths, uh, and pedestrian paths, uh, so that you can avoid collisions. Um, we're thinking about having some interactive lighting elements. So in this case, you can see below there, there's an ultrasonic sensor. And as I get closer, it gets brighter. And as I move my hand out of frame, which you can't see it, uh, it gets a little bit brighter. And uh, it's flickering on and off because the sensor is pretty directional. I can't get my hand exactly in front of it, but give you a closer tour in close. That's the uh, waterfront here and an example of some maybe some bicycle ramps, uh, walkway ramps to get down and up. I mean that's not a final design but just something I've maybe seen at some, uh, some malls or something with escalators that kind of nice. And the pathway would continue through here and there's where some existing buildings are. And, uh, here we are at um, Moody Avenue. Cool. Alright, so if you want to know more about this, maybe I'll throw some links up on the screen. We created this for the Hack for uh, Change uh, initiative. Um, code for Change uh, set up basically doing Hack Hack for PDX was the deal in, in North or Southwest Portland. Uh, they're going to be developing the waterfront down there and uh, the company Zadell wanted to open it up to the community to get some ideas on what the bridge uh, might look like. Now on the hardware side of things we've got an Arduino Uno uh, underneath there with a uh, ultrasonic sensor um, down there somewhere in a battery pack so it's able to run wirelessly and then on the top here we've um, printed out some paper and fixed it with some glue and we've got our LEDs down there and some kind of model railway type equipment so if you like this we'd like to see more stuff um, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the page. If you're waiting for Artaboy, I'm working hard on that. Um, that's the stuff that I took to Maker Fair, and I'm kind of trying to get the thing manufactured. So I'll put a link up for that. But in the meantime, I'm going to plan on putting a subreddit so people can talk about this plan in the future. Uh, all right, thank you. Bye.